Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Episode number four. That is a whole month. A whole month of the Collaboration Station podcast. Again, hosted by myself. Flashy. That guy. Co-hosted. Which 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 way am I you're, 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 which you're way this, am I on? You're this guy. You're this guy. Co-hosted Over by here. the guy trying to figure out what side of the screen <laughs> I'm on. We got Hanson Visuals, H Money, Ooh. aka Tyler. AKA now Mista Hansen on Twitch and Twitter. We got a lot to talk about on the one month anniversary, I guess, yes, of the collab do. station. Yes, Where do you do. want to start? Where do you want to start? Well, it was a beautiful day today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, that's Why all do you always, immediately, <laughs> you always immediately just go to the weather? That's and all I got. If you I'm can't not think of something. Shit. I'm not going off for this shit. No, hey, listen. I do want to say, <laughs> I do want to say that even though we've been stuck inside for like two months now. I don't even want to know. It's been a minute. Right. But shout out to everyone making music right now. Like big shout out to everyone making music now. Facts. I, there are, I. I'll take that. Dude, I'll take it. So many artists that I follow have music coming out every single week. Just because there's literally nothing else to do. They're just all making music. And I couldn't fuck with that more, dude. We People are, are coming we're... out with bangers after bangers after bangers. And I'm just here ch- like, yeah, I'm fucking with it. Before I respond, we were only probably a minute and 20 seconds into the podcast before you threw up the, uh, the classic... Whatever you want to call I just need it. What, you, what, is, what even is the what, what even is the hand signal technically that you're throwing up? What do you consider it? The Spider Man, literally the Spider Man. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. I need to tape my fingers down. I know. And dude, so even I if I just need to tape my fingers down, so even if I make the movement, I'm just going like you like burst through the tape and like your fingers. Just... <laughs> I can't believe that, man. Yeah, you do it too much. We really got to work on that. I told you, you got to get mittens. Hey, can we just but turn whatever. these webcams off so it's just like yeah, you no know, one should we just go it? audio only? I think should we, we should. strictly? And that way, you could just stay. You could just record the whole podcast the entire time, <laughs> just like, like this. And I wouldn't know. You would just be like this the whole time. That is way too good. Oh, yeah, going back to music. What kind of music you've been listening to, then, man? You said a bunch of artists. You, to, you can shout them out or just give me genres. What do you got, dude? What literally, you been lately? literally, like everything. You know, I'm. I'm a big rap hip hop guy, but I'm just as. I hate when people say everything, bro, because I know damn well no, you no, no, listen no. to like country or something. No, oh, fuck country. Day. No, so, no, no. so then all, tell me, don't all, say everything, well, no, man, because, because that includes. Literally, okay, well, okay. Irish folk, like, I'm sure it's fire, but like, I don't think it's on your rotation. All right, right now. Well, don't give me everything. Okay, okay, okay. Well, okay, so I got. <laughs> Sorry. I got hip hop, rap. <laughs> I like, like it. Yeah. EDM just as much. And then, and then sometimes, sometimes we're like, we're feeling it on some days, you know, throwing it back to like. 2000s alternative rock wow you know sometimes we're feeling throwback vibes you know you know what my throwback vibes are beethoven symphony (laughs) damn (laughs) taking it back yo with that's my throw people say yo throwback (laughs) vibes like 19 years ago my throwback vibes are like (laughs) 10th century (laughs) some b minor some classical (laughs) b minor shit yeah i fuck with that yeah i fuck with that yo beethoven's fire nobody be talking about it yo his drop you hear, drop on that shit? you hear the beats, my guy? For my guy, Beethoven, yo? Bro, I, he, He's out there. He was out there putting in work, bro. Shout out. Bro, I gotta put my AC grinding. on every time I listen to that guy. because It just fucking gets way too hot in here, you know? Somebody get the fire extinguisher for my boy Beethoven, please. Because when he gets in the booth, when he gets in the booth... It's over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> get out. It's absolutely over. It's just over. over. Yo. Let me get a skirt real quick because I'm about to just completely just because we're gonna come oh, back just, to this. But just, first, I need a I need a skirt. <laughs> that wasn't one of the best ones. That was the best. I I appreciate the uh, the effort, but that was a really bad one. I feel like that was like, one of my best ones personally. But okay. no, continue, no. continue. What were you saying? A skirt. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's the quick ones, you know, the quick ones. <laughs> but uh, dude. This has been officially your first week since you've ever streamed video games, right? Live streamed mm. video games on Twitch. Yes, sir. I think you have Ted. You know what, man? I'm pretty proud of you. You have what? Like in a week, in your first ever week of doing it, what? Like nine hours or almost hitting double digits? Oh, of, I literally of, just checked 8.1. Sh- 
Ape, dude, if you think about it, that's an hour of day streaming, man. That's on your first week. That's still good. You put in a solid eight. You put in your eight hours. It's funny How'd because my uh, I checked my path to affiliate. And mm -hmm. I noticed one of them was done, and I was like, ooh, which one is that? Wow. And I Congrats. said stream for eight hours, and your boy clocked in at 8.1. 8.1, 8 man. Listen, we don't, we, don't settle. we don't settle for the standard. We go no. above and beyond here nothing, at the collab station. Yeah. 110%. Dude. Nothing, nothing but just overachieving here for us. <laughs> you have to. You have to, or else you're not doing it right. You so how do you, how do you feel about it, man, it. streaming a video game? It was, what, are you, what are your thoughts on it? It was different. It was different, but I, like... I really had a good time. Like, I enjoyed it. It also helped that I was playing GTA, uh, the best game in the world. Classic. Um, Classic. And yeah, like, I streamed myself, uh, like, editing uh, a couple personal projects, but this was completely different. Um, under a new name and everything. Oh, yeah. I mean, under a new name, I, I like having my two personas, if you will, separated. Personalities? Yeah, yeah. I got, I got, I got, uh, <laughs> your boy, it's half gamer. Half photographer, videographer, dude. I, I like to keep those uh those worlds separate, but I also love influencing both of those at the same time with one another. So like with my That's gaming cool. content, I like to like make it look as nice as possible. Cause I know a lot of people that game they just upload like uh their raw clips or whatever. I like to put in a little work. I like to spend some time on my edits. I like to you know, make it make it appealing, and I, I just like to put the the amount of work in to those that I would my hands and visual stuff. And then, like the same thing, I love I love uh, photography, videography, but I love it the most when I'm at like, like for instance, TwitchCon or the Mortal Kombat uh, New Jersey ones that we've been to. Just like c combining those two worlds. It blends them, right? It's like it's the cool. sweet spot, and I just yeah, uh, it's really really I love cool. It. I love it when gaming and like real life content creation can, like like I just said, like just be put into a blender, and it's like wait, this is because like you can literally watch the after movie that's on my channel that you edited for Mortal Kombat and Jay. It's like there's like literally points where it's just gameplay, like mm -hmm. it's a vlog type style, but there's literally gameplay in there. So I could tell you had fun. Going into like the VOD and stuff like that, oh, and yeah. getting, like clips and stuff. I mean, and that was a long time ago. That was a, that was yeah, like, almost that was over a year ago at this point. Because I like, I like them both equally. I love like the the gaming space. I love the photography videography space. Right. But what I love the most is when those two influence each other, and just. There's like this like both new... sides of your brain are like finally working exactly. together as opposed to like being apart. Exactly, and like not a lot of people are doing like that niche of both of them, right? And I just I just find it a lot of fun. And if I can be at the top of that niche, dude, I'll take it. Tell me there. Yeah, sign Tell me, me there. But sign me up. Sign sign you up, bro. Sign you up. Where Yo, what I do donate, I sign? Dude? You know. Let me hear something. What was your favorite thing and least favorite thing while streaming your games? While streaming Grand Theft Auto, streaming video games, whatever, being live on Twitch. Favorite and least favorite part over the course Ooh. of that first week? Um, Start with least favorite, and then we'll go with the positive after. I don't think I really have a least favorite. I mean, like, I really wasn't streaming to stream. I was just like, like I was going to have a good time regardless. And I figured, you know what, why not just record it? Instead of like, what about the, what about the temperature in your room? That's a factor. Oh that was a factor. No, okay, well then, yeah, that was that was. That's the thing. That that's a, you course. got you forced that yourself was, to sit yeah, there, and it was hot as fucking hell. Not just in that, your room, not just sweating that, but buckets. I have. I was I was sweating too. It was hot as fuck. Dude. I have I have two windows, but one of them has like a sheet of glass um, to replace where the uh, the AC would be. Which I don't have okay. my AC in now, so I even though I have two windows, I technically only have one that I can like open. And the worst part is that I had my AC going on in my living room, and I had to keep my door closed because we were obviously because you're loud and you're yeah, recording. Yep, exactly. I know. So I was cut off to all the cold air, and all the like the airflow goes like away from the house, so I don't get any cold air into my window. So it's just this sauna. I'm sitting in front of these two giant lights. Yeah, massive lights. With like PC my PC under monitors. my desk, my Xbox on. Like, dude, everything, all the electronics were just so hot. Ugh. I told that you, That was man. the worst part. There's, part, the there's worst part. shit that you're not going to expect. And literally fucking... Dude, when I first started streaming... I first started streaming in July 2018, right? And it was fucking hot as hell. Literally the hottest it could be, yeah. 
Yeah, so fucking hot. And that at that point, I was streaming probably like nine to twelve hours a day, like uh-huh. every fucking day. Like all I did for my first like five months of streaming, I just streamed every day, double digit hours. Like I didn't even care. And bro, it was. Dude, it would be so hot in that room, and I would just sit there and just be literally just soaked, fucking oh, yeah. soaked. Oh yeah. Streaming for like nine hours, just due to the like you said, the lights, the monitor, my PC under my desk, like sweating because I'm literally like, I don't know, I'm you're entertaining, like you're burning fucking calories. I don't know what the fuck it's called, but you're doing shit. You're literally doing shit. Yeah. So like you're act like you're literally hot and already sweating, and it's like, oh, dude. That's, so that was not a yeah. good combo. Not a good combo. But I don't know. Like you finish streaming and you're all sweaty and stuff. It's like kind of you just finished a workout. You know, you turn off the streaming. Oh like, yeah, I, I like, dude, wipe the brow. You're like, whoo, holy shit! I literally opened my like as soon as I finished. I opened my door. I lied like right under my window and I just like I just lied there, just relax. You know. And you were chill. proud because you just banged out a four hour stream, dude. Dude, you just I, I honestly, I though. honestly didn't even look like that. Like, uh, like you were like, yo, let's just go on some gta and just have fun so i literally that was just like a normal gaming session for me i just happened to be like it was a set you know? yeah it was a sesh yeah dude that survival mode is so fun in gta that was oh fun my. That was it, hard. it is fun right now do you see why dude, i was talking about it the whole time that that switched up like quick re- quick real quick quick Quick. I think I'm, I'm hoping you somehow incorporate those in the highlight videos so like people that watch this podcast can then like go watch the highlight video and see what we're talking so about because quick. dude that shit so for those like if you haven't played GTA Online say, survival yeah, we should, mode, we should tell let me break it, it down. It's like it's essentially like Nazi zombies, but in GTA world, right? It's not zombies. It's just dudes running at you with guns, and you got you're you have to hold down like for example, the map we were on was just a cul-de-sac. You just have to hold down the cul-de-sac for as many waves as you can. Or I don't, actually, we don't even know if there's a limit or not if you can win or not because we would just get fucking smoke that like wave four. It was like the craziest shit ever. It's like you just hold down this spot. They give you a bunch of guns and stuff. And you basically just try to survive against waves of enemies. And it's like, wave one and two, it's like kill 15, 25 people. You're like, oh, this is easy. You're laughing. You're like, oh, dude, this is sick. Like, I just found this spot. Like, oh, I just did all this, whatever. Then, like, wave three starts. And you're like, oof, yo, that was a close one. Like, maybe one teammate dies or something. Wave four, dude, helicopters into fucking <laughs> RPGs into 75 enemies with one life each. It's over, dude. The, we got literally the worked. switch up. Like, it we literally felt worked. like Wave 3 was, like, fighting off a peaceful protest. And then Wave 4 was, like, the fucking military just <laughs> kicking your fucking five door stars. down. Yeah, five stars. R- literally switched up on you uh, within 15 seconds. So like, what was something that you really enjoyed about uh, streaming video games for your first week? Um, And it could be anything. The whole process, yeah. whether it's, like, making your alerts, making your actually streaming oh, it, interacting okay, with okay. chat. If you're, get, going, uh, if you're going that way... Making your overlay, if whatever you're going it is. In that you got direction, a nice little overlay. Yeah, you got some stuff going on. You got a little theme going on on your channel. Yeah, it's cool. If you're going in that direction, I think my favorite part was the day before I streamed, I literally spent all night making my own starting soon screen that uh, I would have on for like five minutes before I go live. Um, just so I can like, you know, set up all those socials. And all that, let the, of course, let, right? let the people know you're live. You know, do the IG posts, the if Twitter, they want to stop Twitter by and, and and you know, stop by and say what's up. You got to let them know where to find you. You know, so Easily. so I play a starting soon screen like literally everyone else does, but um, I I took it upon myself to you know go above and beyond. Give it a little 110 percent of my effort, you know. There we go. Like I said, no, exactly. we don't settle we don't for the cut minimum. Corners, you know, we're not we about don't. that. We're not about that. We're not. So your boy made a his his own GTA style loading screen that literally looks like it could be from the actual game itself, but they were it do- all actually like not to gas you up. Literally, if you just showed it to me and you didn't say anything, I would have been like, "Yo, you're loading into the game right now, bro." <laughs> Thank you. I'm not kidding. I'm not Thank kidding. You. No, but yeah, Dude, um, they were fucking, all my pictures. The little details, the little yeah. details in that are fucking great, man. You and like it. I could have done that with like any pictures i found online but i i I wanted to do them with like my own pictures because i back way back in the day when i first started this like gaming persona um i would go in and take uh so gta has the rockstar editor which is pretty much like a cinematic mode for certain clips that you like saved from online oh is that how you get all those yeah so like pictures and videos and stuff and so back in the day i would go back into the gameplay that i just did 
mm-hmm. you can like put the camera any anywhere you want. You can zoom it in. You can like position it um, within that clip. So I would go in there and take a bunch of screenshots and just have like GTA content for days. It's a shame nobody fucked with it. But I had a fun time. <laughs> but I had a fun Don't time. Don't say that. People fuck with it. I had a fun time with it, and I just People I had with it. I had so much. I had so many screenshots, and I was like. I want to do something with these again because yeah, they're, don't let them good. just collect dust, man. They're don't good. Let them collect it's, just, dust. it's a shame that just Instagram doesn't like them, but they're so dope, and I'm, I'm like so proud of them. So I was like, I want to do something with them. And then, yeah, force it in front of people that want to watch your stream. It's the exactly, only way to. Exactly. That's that's what you do with anything you make. But like, I had a, point. I had a starting soon screen. Nah, but they're I was dope. Like, they're, they're, it's yeah. Let me tell you, if you whether you continued with the GTA theme or not, because, you know, like I said, Assassin's Creed is coming out and stuff, and I know we've talked about playing Halo and stuff, but just having those that you made, like, from start, from, literally from scratch, yeah. whether people, whether you're playing Grand Theft Auto or not, like, that is, that is, that's a fucking awesome-ass theme to have thank on you, your stream, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, when you'll be right back, if you'll go, like, and get a drink or something, or go put your face in the air conditioner, because yeah. you're sweating buckets, oh, you need, yeah. a, need a, oh, yeah. a three-minute break. Fill this just bad boy up, with, like, every, every 30 minutes, you know, just because you're chugging through it. The cold water, but, uh, yeah. I've actually, dude, no, but you, yeah, you've it's, actually inspired me with that stuff. It's funny, because um, how you said, even though if I want to continue this, this theme of being on, like, a GTA thing... You don't even have to. I don't only play GTA. Like I play Destiny, and I'm, I'm probably gonna uh, do Halo like everyone else. And there's like more than one game that I like. But the thing is, I plan on going back into that loading screen and swapping out a couple of them. So I'll have like a GTA looking slide, and then it'll wow. cut to like a Destiny. It's gonna be the same thing, but like with different games. Yo, so, like, don't give them the tech, bro. Don't give don't give them peek, the secrets. No, don't I'm, give them. I'm just gonna have a sneak peek. So. Don't give them the secrets, bro. That sounds fun. You, dude, I'm telling you. Like I said, I was like, I've been streaming for two years. You've been doing it for a week, and your shit already looks ten times better than mine. So, Well, I mean... <laughs> no, <Nah>, it's... <laughs> what, what, makes me, what makes me happy is that, like... Because it takes me back to when I first started streaming. Because, it's like, you're so excited about all this stuff. Like you said, you spent all night working on just a starting soon screen, you know? Like, I remember back when I first started, it was, like, weeks. Just weeks straight of just working on it and work just all these little things, like even just changing a color a little bit or yeah. moving the alert box somewhere, like anything that I could do to just, I don't know. It's like, it's, well, here's the thing. Here's the you're thing. building it, you know, it's like at, yeah, the, at first yeah. you're building it. So you're excited to do all these new things and get that foundation and stuff. And, and, and here's the thing too. Like I, I, I can make mine look, you know, as good as I want it to look, but at the end of the day, it, like you, you, you definitely know what you're doing. I clear. I clearly Thanks, don't. I, don't, I, don't I so. no. I clearly don't. So like, I can make my shit look as good as possible. I still have no fucking idea what I'm doing. But uh, but also like, it's it's. I edit for a lot of people. Like I've edited. I've I've made like all your stream stuff pretty much. Um, and I had a lot of fun doing that too. But there's just something about making stuff for yourself. Oh. And it just feels so good. And like once you're like. For, like I was in the zone on like the day I was making this. I literally spent all day making that, and I couldn't stop. Like I, that's the type of editing that I love when you're just so hooked on it, oh, yeah. and oh, it's yeah. like personal. You know, it's for you, and you just, you just, you know, you can. I can. I literally. I mean, I literally spent all day doing it. Like I got up out and of this it, chair like for the bathroom, and that was pretty much it. Like I literally and for an spent, air conditioner run. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But like <laughs> I, I literally spent all day working on. It. I just had a lot of fun. That makes me happy, man. I love that. I yeah. love to hear that because that's that's. I'm not gonna say that's not how it is for me now because obviously there's still things that like, like for example, my Mortal Kombat videos, bro. I put out what 28 Mortal Kombat videos over the course of a month with 30 yeah. days in it. And that's the thing. You know what I'm you've, saying? You've like been I was, doing I couldn't this. stop. I could not stop recording Mortal Kombat yeah. videos. Yeah. And I was, I loved uploading them. I loved making the thumbnails for them. Like yeah. learning the new characters. Like, dude, I was, I, I still fucking do that shit right now. Obviously, my YouTube channel at this current moment is like resident evil playthroughs and stuff like that but that's because we got a huge ass mortal kombat expansion coming out 10 days from when we're recording this Ooh. and dude when that comes out i'm it's literally gonna be like fucking 15 hour mortal kombat days bro i'm oh, yeah. i just oh, yeah. i cannot fucking I love that wait shit. i love when that shit happens i yeah. can't wait yeah it's three three new characters new stages new fatalities stage fatalities yep. friendships yep. bro all this all this little mk stuff like new skins bro i am about to go on a fucking I'm that about feeling, to go on a Mortal Kombat tear, bro. That feeling is the oh, exact so same feeling I get whenever I get back home from like an awesome trip that I just had. Like when I oh, came back from Aspen, 
that's exactly I sat down I started dumping all my footage and I was just like I'm about to go off on this <laughs> And no one around me is safe because it's gonna get fucking dangerous over here. It's about to get dangerous, it's about us, to bro. Go off, dude. So like, I, dude, I know exactly what you're talking about. I feel that. It's, oh, I can't wait. Literally, I've just been counting down the days that it's all drop. All this stuff is just dropping on one day. I'm like, dude. Yes, sir. It's gonna be crazy. But honestly, not to. I've been having so much fucking fun playing GTA on, online with you on stream. That shit has so been because for the most part, I've only been streaming really like. For the, for the latter part of whatever, however long I've been streaming MK. MK is literally just me playing 1v1s, like, all day, pretty much. That's what Mortal Kombat is. It's just 1v1s, right? So to be able to just jump in an open world with, like, a friend that's also oh, streaming I mean, and just yeah, cause mess like, around. I was like, w dude, four hours went yeah, by. I was like, yeah. well, I thought I've only been live for 45 minutes. Well, here's the I've thing. I've been here for four hours. You've been streaming for, like, two years now, right? Right. You've only streamed, like, the highest competitive games. You know what I'm saying? It's like it. I, it's always like rank. It's always just rank it's, sweat solo it's queues. It's the most no competitive. What whether you're doing like Mortal Kombat or like a battle royale, Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah. It's like you need to be competitive when you play that shit, or else you're not gonna win. GTA, you can literally just fucking bro. Sit I'm back running and around relax. on a fucking bicycle with a fucking like. It's just so it's a just, flare yeah. gun and I'm just dicking around. I was yeah. like, dude, this is hilarious, bro. Like we were racing. I spent half the fucking race turning around and flipping you off, dude. Like, <laughs> like you can't. Dude, yo, that shit had me crying, bro. Every time I pass you or you pass me, you can flip the person off. I just be like, nah, yeah. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> Eat my dust, yo. I said that like a hundred times. I was like, yo, how's my dust taste? <laughs> Eat my fucking dust, bro. That shit is hilarious to me, dude. Yeah, GTA Online has been a blast, man. And I'm I'm glad you're enjoying streaming it because I really am. Oh, and yeah. anytime you say, yo, wanna bro. play GTA on stream, I'm gonna be like, hell yeah, I wanna fucking do that. Dude, I know I know why you guys do it. I know why all you streamers stream now. It's just it's fucking it's fun. It's I exciting, literally man. I mean I mean uh, the first stream we did, I streamed for three and a half hours. No, it was four. You hit, we broke the four okay, hour Okay, four mark. hours. Um, I was three and a half hours into my stream and realized I didn't have a stream title or a category and literally no people, no one watching my stream because I didn't have any information You weren't even it. in the Grand Theft Auto I was, directory? I, I was live, but I was literally not even on the fucking site. <laughs> And I still have a fun time doing it. I and still I still have, loved every I second. I still loved every second of it, yeah. But I was That's like, funny, I love how I, I, I realized that fucking three hours. But that, like, dude, oh, honestly, wait. when you first start streaming, shit like that happens and you learn. And oh, like, yeah. I don't want to sound cliche, but you learn from it because now you're not going to fucking go live and not be oh, yeah, on the, yeah, yeah. available on the website now. I mean, I'm using a whole new software I've like never used before, you know? So I still got my training wheels on, you know? Listen, I'm not, there's I'm, nothing wrong with that, bro. I'm not on. I'm not old enough to take them off yet, you know? But that'll come. One day. With, I, I guess like affiliate, right? When you hit affiliate, yeah. you, the training wheels pop off. And one now you day, can start... One day. You can start rip sticking around the fucking... Around the block, dude. Dude, one day I'm going to take these training wheels off and it's going to be fucking... It's going to be over? It's going to be a good day. I hope... Uh, yeah, I'm hoping in the coming weeks you decide to stream a lot. Because like I said, in 10 days when this... When Aftermath comes out for MK, it's, I'm, I'm locked in on that, but... I mean, well, hey. For the next, like, week and a half, I'm completely open to ripping some GTA on stream, man. That shit has been so much fun. Listen, so much fun. Like, I want to record this podcast, and I want to ask you when we're done, yo, you want to you wanna play some GTA real quick? Or so you got an hour? I have literally nothing going on. So <laughs> catch me on Twitch. Catch me literally on ca GTA. Catch me on Twitch playing GTA. And you, oh, I'm excited, man. You got, like, YouTube videos coming out of, like, stream highlights and funny edits and stuff. I feel like that's what you used to do back in the day. So you're kind of, like, Speaking revitalizing of that that content itch that you had, whatever the fuck, five yeah, yeah, years yeah. ago yeah. when you first started all this. But speaking of which... Um, Is this a skirt? Is this a skirt moment no, 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 right no, no, here? No, or are we, are no, we on no. the same topic? Not yet. Not yet. I'm not ready to Okay, skirt. not yet. Um, I was up super late last night. And I was like, you know what? Let's just go on GTA real quick. You hopped on last night? I did a little something something. On PC? I did a little something something. Why didn't you tell me, bro? I was awake. Exa Listen, I did a little something something. You're going to have to find out.
Yo, tune when in, your own boys yo, tune don't my stream, hit bro. you up. <laughs> yo, tune into my when stream. When your bro. own boys don't even hit you up. Yo, to you play gotta, GTA. Yo, you gotta watch stream to find out, bro. I'm gonna be streaming while you're streaming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, you gotta watch stream to find out. Yo, tune into stream. Okay. Yo, tune into the stream. Just tune in. What is the uh, what is your GTA stream link? Twitch.tv. Just your stream. Yo, what's your Twitch? What? It's not Twitch.tv slash Hands of Visuals, is it? Nah. -uh. Well, I mean, yes. For GTA. Yes. I, I mean, I, I do stream my editing process over on Twitch.tv slash Hanson Visuals, but I game <laughs> over at Twitch.tv slash Beast of Hanson, dude. Spell that so, real quick. M-E-E-S-T-A-H-A-N-S-E-N. -E -E so if you want to catch your boy on the If sticks, you're able to decipher that, you deserve to go watch that stream because I could... <laughs> if I didn't... Literally, if I didn't have your link, then I wouldn't even... I would be like, what was that? So listen, if you want to catch me on the sticks, set over there. <laughs> huh? But if you want to catch me on the keys, check me out on Hands Visuals. You're just a jack of all trades, man. Yep. What can I you say? Do it all. What can I say? Why you Why you still have that smirk? Why are you still doing that? <laughs> you just held that smirk in that pose for like fucking five minutes, bro. What can I say? <laughs> At least it wasn't the uh, you know the classic, the OG. There it is. I do. <laughs> I do it. Yo, um, can I get a skirt real quick though? Let me get a. a oh, quick another one. skirt. Because I, I, whoa, 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 before you do it, before you do it, before you do it, but before you hit that handbrake and drift on these hoes. I'm waiting. <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. Just fucking do skirt. it. <laughs> there we go. Yo, I need to talk to you about the rabbit hole that I fell down. Like you said, you were up late last night and you went on GTA. You know what I did? I love I myself fell a good deep. late night rabbit hole. I fell deep into a rabbit hole. And not like, oh, I'm just gonna investigate this weird thing or this interesting thing or this thing I'd never learned about for an hour or so, okay. no. Okay. I was glued to my fucking phone on YouTube on Twitter, Instagram, uh, fucking internet browser. Like, I was doing everything with this rabbit hole. Yeah. Japanese hip-hop. Bro. I, I don't know how it started. That is a rabbit but hole. Basi but basically in my head I was like, because you know the music I listen to. And if for the people listening, if you don't know the music I listen to, literally just go watch any after movie that Tyler put out with me. Like, that... That's the music we listen or I listen it's to. It's three I'm artists, really guys. It's a collection it's three, of three, it's three artists. It's three artists. It That's is. It. Uh, That's could it. You, I want to see if you can no name. More, can you name the three? No less. Can you name the three? The literally the oh. three artists that I have that I do not listen to anything else. Rich the What's kid. Num number one, yeah. Rich number the one, kid. no, hundred percent. Like, bro. Rich the kid. Then you got some. One, one more time. Wait. One more time. Wait. No. What was the first one? Rich the kid. Thank you. Rich the kid. You got some future. A hundred percent. And if you're not listening to Rich the Kid or Future. You're Bumps Amigos. I am Bumps Amigos. No. <laughs> nothing more. And you know what's sick? You know what's less. dope? I've seen Migos live, I've seen Future live, and I met Rich the Kid. So my top three, technically, I've seen them all in real yeah, life. That's, and, and, that's, yeah. But, yeah, so I, my, for me my music satisfied. taste, like, bro, like, on some real shit, like, that's all I listen to, right? And you know that. So for me to branch out and find another artist whose language I can't even fucking understand, like, I fuck with anime. I think that's how it started. This is how the rabbit hole started. Okay, um, okay. Some YouTube video popped up of like the band performing some like anime intro live over in Japan. I, oh, right. hold, on, hold on, hold on. I just love how these rabbit holes start. Oh, dude. I love the... it because it's never, it's never where you end up. <laughs> ever. Ever. Dude, you, you, you can be Googling how to saran wrap something and end up on like nuclear waste plants, you know? You never, ever know where that shit goes. So I, I just, I love hearing how rabbit holes start. It's, yeah. it's so, it's so interesting, dude. It's I so am 100% the name. I, I think I need to like verbally name the podcast in every episode, but Googling Saran Wrap. <laughs> dude. Yo, Googling Saran Wrap techniques, top five. Dude. Top five most efficient Saran Wrap techniques. Honestly, I could be looking at a comparison video, a which jelly tastes the best on a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> And end up top five ways to cover up a fucking murder or something. It's like, 
literally somewhere in that rabbit hole, there's a fucking there's oh, a skirt. divot. There's, there's a, a divot. There's a fucking skirt. <laughs> there's in a that skirt. Rabbit there hole. is. And you end up just not where you started. I just, I just Dude, love. So, it. so like I said, for this one, it was, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was a not. So there's, there's actually one Naruto. For anybody that watches Naruto, I think it's on Shippuden. It's uh, there's one intro. It's actually like it's a pretty good fuck. Like it's it's a pretty good fucking song. Like again, it's in Japanese. I don't understand it, but it's yeah. really cool because there's like it's like a classic like rap group, right? With like there's five different dudes. Like there's the main guy with the the higher pitch voice that sings, and he's like really melodic. And then you have like the guy with the super deep voice, and you have the really sick white guy with long hair that raps like really fucking well. You know, and then you got so yeah. it's like it's a, it's it's a really cool it's a cool song. I'm not gonna guess it. But it popped up that they that they did a, it was like a live session, so I clicked on it and I saw it was in Japan and I saw the crowd vibing, vibing hard as fuck to it, right? And I was like, "Dude, okay. what are rap?" I think with the way my brain like that skirt that I did, I was like, "I was like, what do rap concerts look like in Japan?" Because I I fuck with the Japanese culture heavy, like super yeah. fucking heavy, dude. Like it all it, like to be as cliche as fuck. Like yeah, it started with anime, but like from there I just fucking dove headfirst into it, and I'm uh. So like anything, anything that goes on over there, or whatever I'm like, or like how it starts, or what they do, or you know, listen, like you move, better not like have also, dived in the shallow end. You better <laughs> dove in the fucking deep end because that shit. Gets Dude, dangerous. I I dove into the fucking shark infested waters, man. Okay, I got okay. swallowed up whole in there. It, it was like fucking more. Pirates of the Caribbean, Davy Jones fucking level <laughs> shit, bro. Sunk my ship all the way fucking down. But um, but yeah, because I, I was interested in it because I was like, because like I said, I was I'm super interested in all that. I was like, yo. Do they listen to like rap music like we do? Like, yeah. do they fucking listen to Future and Travis Scott and stuff? And I was like, so I think that's how it started, right? And then, um, I don't know. I was just looking up random ass shit. Just like I typed in like Japanese hip hop documentary. Like I watched a short one on YouTube, whatever. Oh, I was yeah, just kind of okay. like, you know, I was I was yeah, I was yeah, teetering yeah. in there a little bit. Yeah. But then I found on Google this like this random fucking website that was like top ten Japanese hip hop artists you need to know. And what this what this list did was it was like if you like this if like if you like Tyler the Creator you'll like this Japanese artist or okay, you know okay. they, it did shit like yeah, that. Cool. And uh, the first one on the list it said if you like ASAP Rocky this guy will be good for you and it's like I don't really listen to ASAP Rocky or anything like that but I just clicked the YouTube video because I was like oh like maybe he's got like cool music videos like it would be interesting to see what their music videos look like and their art style and stuff. Yeah, dude. So it showed me this fucking artist named Ko K O H H. Yo. My four-hour rabbit hole started with just wondering if Japanese hip-hop exists. Three and a half hours later, I was eight years into this guy's whole, like, discography. <laughs> Every music video he's done, everything. Don't don't speak a fucking word of Japanese. Watch all of his interviews I didn't understand a word of. Listen to all his music. And, dude, I was like, holy fuck, man. Like, it is, it is so dope. Because I heard this guy saying, he was like, because uh, there was actually a, tra- there was actually one of the translated interviews. And he was like, you know, over here, people don't really talk about hip hop like that. They don't really fuck with that kind of music, or it's not really known. Like it's super like, and like, dude, all of this guy's live shows, like he's popular as fuck. Like yeah. he's in a video, he's in a, he's featured on a song that has seventy five million fucking views on YouTube for their music video. Like, yeah, he's his name gets around the world, man. And like, Wait, who is that? Uh, it's the so it's that really really hard ass fucking. Uh, this guy's name is Keith Ape. He's from South Korea. He did Itchy Ma. The song name okay, is yeah, remember yeah. that music video in the hotel. I don't know if you remember it. It's it's Keith Ape Itchy Ma and uh, if I saw it, you de- you definitely know the song yeah. if you fucking heard it. The beat is so fucking hard, but he's on that track and uh, so I was like, wait, what the fuck? This guy is huge. And you watch all of his live shows over in Japan, like dude, it's literally like super like bar back room like. 50 to 70 people just mosh now. He's like in like in the fucking crowd, like jumping off people, rapping his songs and shit. Oh, wow, yeah. It's like, it's so fucking dope to see this shit, bro. And um, so like I said, I went down like three hours and a half just listening to this dude. Again, don't understand a fucking word. But I was like, yo, Japanese hip hop is fucking fire, bro. Yeah. Or this guy at least is so fucking sick. And I'm like, dude, he... Get this dude over here. Yo, his... So the thing... Bro, their beats on like literally like Rich the Kid, Migos type beats and stuff like that. Their Probably beats, hard. their fucking trap hip hop beats, yo, are like fucking insane, dude. Okay. They sound like they came from outer fucking space. Okay. These beats, dude. It sounds like they literally beamed them down from like <laughs> Neptune and just put them into the song, and the dude started rapping on it. Like, 
The beats are fucking, fucking insane. dude. The awesome. beats are fire. They get super like creative with how they like manipulate their voice and like auto tune and stuff like that. Yeah. And like it's f- it's so fucking good, bro. And like some of his videos have like a thousand views. Like some of his <laughs> songs have a thousand views. Like yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, but he's like international as fuck. Like on GQ Japan and shit like that. Like they, okay, do, yeah, they yeah. he's he's doing it. He's like this guy's like there. obviously. But when I heard him say, he's like, I want to be the one to, like, show these people, like, this style of music, I was like, dude, that's fucking awesome. And, like, I looked, further in- I looked further into it, man, and I was like, the stuff he's rapping about, like, even something as simple as, like, smoking weed and stuff is, like, apparently super looked down upon over there. So he's like, not only is he, like, expressing his creativity and stuff, he's going, like, against the fucking system rebellion type shit, you know, like, at a, at a smaller okay. level, you know what I'm okay. just saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now it's like people rap about whatever the fuck they want, put it on SoundCloud, and it doesn't fucking matter, right? Like people are going to yeah. listen to it. Oh, that's hard. Or, oh, that's trash. But like this dude is like, it's Part crazy that he's like, it's not just him dropping a song and putting it on SoundCloud. It's like he's saying this shit because, and it's like, and it's like he knows that he's going up against kind of, I guess, the norms over there of, yeah. I guess, like drugs, yeah. drinking, partying, spending money. Like it's not all he raps about. He does a lot of other stuff. But like the songs that I gravitated towards, obviously like the trap hip hop y like you know party style songs mm-hmm. so that's what he's talking about those songs and i'm like and then apparently like he's super sing-songy as well he talks about like he grew up like what the projects in japan are like and like shit that happens i'm like bro this is fucking crazy man this you don't fucking get i mean you get that over here but it's i don't know maybe it's just because it was like super fucking like on the literally on the other side of the world but that shit just wrapped me in and i was like yeah. bro this is fucking awesome this music is fucking fire these dudes love it. Like that, I think that's what I was trying to get at with everything I was saying. Is like the passion behind them putting out this music and making this music is fucking like it's their life, bro. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. It's and funny. I feel like it's you funny don't get that a lot. Uh, it's funny because I wonder if you'd have the same passion for any other artist because that's pretty nah. Much the because if I don't, if I understand them, I'm to. not gonna be as into it. The fact that I don't understand a word he's saying is fucking dope. <laughs> like if you had this much passion for like. Uh, like fucking Katy Perry or something, because you just <laughs> don't listen to anyone else. You're like, yo, fucking like, California I ain't listening girl kind of slaps, dude. Are you fucking vibing with California girls right now, <laughs> <Bro>. my guy? <laughs> no, but that's I feel sick, like I just though. went that's on a sick. heater about Japanese hip hop, but dude, this shit is well, fucking I mean, sick, man. Yeah, like we, it doesn't. That's it's that's fucking stuff, dope. It's interesting finding that because that's not. It's not like in front of us 24 7 like what's in front no. of us it's is... not even in front of people over there apparently he's yeah. like dude nobody fucking yeah. knows about this shit it, it it is crazy seeing something so big for the first time you know what i'm saying like he like, he like how you were saying he's been big but you've just never seen it like up until now yeah and it's not even like like no one knows about it here like i find that super interesting you know it's it's like, fucking, you can be it blows so big my fucking and mind. still like a whole country you know no, not even a like. If you're not looking for Japanese hip hop, if you're in America, yeah, you're, you're never not. gonna fucking exactly, see exactly, exactly. And I, and I, no, I tried to buy I his merch, and the are. whole website, dude. I tried to buy his merch. The whole website is in Japanese, so like, I have no idea what the <laughs> fuck I'm fucking like. I, can, I don't, I'm gonna buy like a fucking kid size small or something on accident because I'm not gonna be able to fucking. Yo, who will translate this shit, bro? It. You know what's crazy? I actually spent a good Great thirty pack. minutes of a good thirty minutes of my rabbit hole was. Uh, Finding his lyrics and Google translating it from Japanese to English. So Damn, I could try so to, like, you, you went down the I, I had so much fun, man. Okay, I had okay. so much fun, like, going, getting his hole. lyrics, going into Google Translate, like, hole. like putting his bars together and stuff. Sure. Because, like, the thing is, over in Japan, I guess it's, like, English slang, like, seeps into their vocabulary, I guess. Because he says, like, they speak in America. They go, like, everybody stand up. Like, like they say, like, normal sentences, like, over here in English. Yeah. So you can kind of like start if you just look up like in between bars, you could kind of start to piece together what he's saying, and it's like that shit was, bro. I was having it was like a fucking rap puzzle. What's your and, weirdest oh, rabbit so hole good. you've ever gone down? That one probably. Really? Okay, the 100%. weirdest. Yeah, I because okay. that was the deepest I ever fucking went on something. Okay. Bro. Okay. Actually, well, I'm I'm super obsessed with the Loch Ness monster. Okay. Okay. She, I I okay. fucking I. Fu- <laughs> So yeah, I'm like kind of super obsessed with the Loch Ness monster. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of fuck with the Loch Ness monster. <laughs> um, <laughs> First no, but, version so, of date. So just okay, outside of on. my uh, my does the music I listen to here exist in Japan rabbit hole? 
Uh, yeah, I've bro, I've spent fucking, I've logged days looking into Loch Ness monster stuff, <laughs> and I love it. I two things, two things. Actually, I'll just say one for right now. But one thing on the bucket list for sure is uh, I want to, I want to see my boy. I want to see my boy, the Loch Ness monster, and just fucking I can't dab see him that. up and be like, "What's good, bro?" I fuck with you. I fuck with the vision, my guy. Hey man, I fuck. I fuck with the vision. Dude. Yo, your your Instagram is fucking dope, bro. Your shit's sick. Your shit's your videos are clean as fuck. Bro, you my gotta guy. post more though. You gotta post more, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're not. Yeah. I see you're not posting as much. It's been like seventy years since uh since you put up a pic. But yo, I'm fucking with the man. It's hard. That's hard as fuck. The low res black and white shots, dude. Fucking you're clean, killing it. dude. You're killing it, bro. I fucking love it, man. <laughs> I can't see you sitting here doing like fucking like mad research with like whiteboards and shit like last locations. Oh, dude, dude. it's all, it's good that you can only see this half of my room because the other half of my room is just actually covered in newspapers and shit. It's yeah, it's actually just a whole Loch Ness <laughs> it's monster. It's super canvas. dusty and all like the fucking like natural light starts to seep in and just, <laughs> there's like smoke fill in the room and shit. <laughs> And for and whatever reason, reason, you only see this corner. <laughs> and for whatever reason, that side of your room is just in black and white. There's just a fucking invisible, like, you're just in black and white. <laughs> There's a cigarette lit smoking somewhere, but, like, nobody knows where it is, but somehow that smoke is just, like, emitting, like you were saying. <laughs> the classic uh, detective coat is hanging on a fucking coat rack that doesn't even belong there. It looks a little bit out of place, like it gets in the way every time he walks in the office. And every time you step over to that side, you just have to do, like, a nine-minute-long, like, monologue of... of where you last left off in your research? <laughs> yeah, dude. A nine-minute fucking recap to myself. That shit is funny. But yeah, that, dude, like I said, I actually, I so you we preemptively, you knew I was going to talk about this, but I didn't tell you, like, I didn't even go at all into it. I just kind of sent you a few songs, and I was like, what do you think about it? What did you think about the songs that I sent you from this guy? By the way, K-O-H-H. -H. This dude is fucking crazy. And you know yeah. what's super dope about it? The songs I sent you, they were like, you know, like super trap, hip hop -y, future, mm -hmm. Travis Scotty, right? Whatever you want to call that genre. Uh, but this dude does everything. He sings, like he does live performances with like violins and shit. So he does yeah, like, no, he's man, all um, kinds of music. You but... sent me his like, um, his like album. And I, like... He dropped a new album three days, or not three days ago, like literally three weeks ago. He dropped I, a new I, album. Popped, I popped something up from him uh, on Spotify and... It was I, Untitled, right? Yeah. The, uh, untitled album? Yeah, that was last year. Okay. So that was his last year album. I, I listened to the ones that you sent me, which did have those vibes. But I also listened to the first song, which I can't say because it's in Japanese. But that Fair. was that, that it was like there was like a sad boy vibe to it. And I was like, oh. You fuck with ooh. the sad boy vibes. He's I'm, got a lot of sad listen, boy vibes. I'm kind of a sad boy, dude. Uh, you are. I'm, I'm not, I'm you're a sad e boy. <laughs> Hey, sad e-boy i'm a sad e-boy but just but there's the a curtains. market for that man there's a market for that without people love it. i think i think i need to get curtains now you need curtains yeah i need curtains dude oh wow i think you could do it can we get you got to keep your hair like that for the rest of the uh for that, the rest that's of the episode not happening no, no <laughs> that's not happening not hap not a, not just a, be thankful some people are only listening to this not and, not, fucking and not watching it not a chance in hell that's staying like that but yeah, what did you think about the songs that I said? Except for this, the ones that I sent you, did you like them? Yeah, they no, were they sick, were. Right? It, it was. It's very interesting seeing a different cultural approach to something we've been listening to for. It's crazy, right? Years and seeing it happen over there. It's fucking it's, it's, nuts yeah, to me, it, man! It, it blew it, my fucking mind. It's kind of wild to think about, yeah. No, but they slapped. They, they slapped fucking sure. go hard. I was dude. like, I wasn't expecting that. I, I thought you were just gonna send me like some SoundCloud rapper. But dude it went pretty hard the shit is fucking yeah. good man and yeah i didn't know a word at all nah didn't understand a word pretty good beats were Just, i love beats it. were hard beats were hard as fuck i'm telling you man they uh they got that that's why I, i'm hoping dude I, I gotta like pull some shit and be like dude you gotta fucking come over to the states and just pop the fuck off because he has linked videos. up with some american rappers he i he's had he has songs with i mean they're either american rappers or english rappers but regardless like He's linked up. Like, the people know him, bro. Like, he's got to get over here, dude, because he's fucking dope. You oh. kill it, yo. You fucking like, kill it. He already is killing it. He already is. But that's yeah. not it. I mean, on, on the off chance that somehow one Japanese rapper that I fuck with is going to listen to this podcast, I don't think it's going to happen. But, yo, bro, if you're listening, dude. Hit us up. No, just hit me up. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, leave me out of it. 
See ya. <laughs> Just, uh... Don't want to be a. Right. You don't want to, I don't want to be a hindrance to this. See ya? Don't want to be you. Well, what's going on with you, bro? Talk to me. I mean... Let's, uh, just chat with me a little bit here. Alright. I, I feel like I just fucking went on a tear, so... <laughs> I'll, let you, I'll let you just talk about whatever the fuck you want. Oh god, alright. Um, fucking sports. What's with them? UFC's no, on. <laughs> Been fucking crushing UFC. I'm, I never got into UFC. What, eventually, you'll start, like, coming over and chilling or whatever, and uh, UFC will just be on, and you'll start fucking with it. Bro, so I'm not allowed over? Weird. Let's go, dude. I'm never allowed over anywhere, bro. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. I appreciate that. Nobody I'll, lets me anywhere, I'll, man. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm going to take you up on that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you up, bro. And you're going you to soon regret that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Just don't leave for fucking days. <laughs> Literally just days on end. Ugh. <sighs> No, but nah, what's the man. plans, bro? Because I know I know you got Misa Hansen doing the games. Hansen Visuals is kind of just taking a chill right now because yeah, there's, there's fucking nothing happening. Yeah, there's nothing to do. Not a fucking thing to do. So I was like, you know what? Instead of just sitting here, letting the time go by, yeah. I'm going to put my talents and my energy and my effort into just some gaming content. I mean, I know I talked about it already, but I... I no, bring it back. I, bring it back, bro. I, bring I, it back. I, uh, bring uh, it back. Skirt. I no, skirt the other way, because you're bringing oh, it back. You gotta skirt. skirt. There we go. Skirt. There we go. I, uh, I dabbled, you know? <laughs> I dabbled in it a couple, like, two years ago. I was, I was pumping out some, like, when GTA first came out a little, I was, like, making some GTA funny moments. Like, I, I like the gaming. Like, the gaming content that I like, I like just, like, the funny moments sub-genre of, of gaming. Oh, yeah, th those, I feel like a lot of people fuck with I never really watched those. Because, oh, I don't know, for I me, like, highlights, I never really, like, I never really did highlights like that. I, it's not, not a thing against them, I just, I don't know. Well, I yeah, no, I mean, stuff, there's, but... there's, because, there's, like, I've, I've never really got into, like, just watching people try to win games. I just never yeah, found exactly. that, like, like live tournaments. Things. I never really, like, that never really, like, captured my attention. But what did right. was just, a, but, like, just a bunch of friends, just friends having, having fun, fun together, yeah. yeah. I literally, and I was like, exactly, no, I want to exactly. make that shit. It just, it seems fun, and I wasn't wrong, because not only, not only is it fun while you're making them, but, and hot take here, I have a lot more fun editing what I just shot than actually, like, doing the actual game. I can't wait to pay you to edit all my fucking shit, because Neither can I, I bro. fucking Neither hate, can I. bro, Dude, editing. I love that shit. Editing. It's it's editing is one of those things where it's like, it's really hard to start. It's really hard to sit down and start the edit. When you're doing it, you can kind of get in that zone. You get to the point where you're like, fuck this. But then when you finish it, you're like, oh, I'm pretty proud that I just finished that yeah. and uploaded it. Well, but uh, yeah, for I mean, me, it's like, dude, too. if like, I got to spend time, it's like mad time editing something. I'm like, bro, well, that's it takes the thing. you so long to do it. It takes we you both, so fucking long. Like, for the gaming aspect itself, like, like... You're into the more like, like ten minute long, like highlights of like fighting gameplay or like like. I would not call it, it's not highlights. This is I wouldn't call it highlights. No. My YouTube videos, those yeah. aren't highlights. No, those are those are handcrafted specifically for oh, what okay, I have okay, in mind so, yeah. for the video. But that's a whole, but like like that's a whole different style of editing too. Like like exactly. I, I, like I, I it's don't much think... long, like no cuts. You know, what I'm, yeah. it's minimal cuts. And, and that's because it's just too. the whole fuck. You want to see the whole fucking yeah. match. And like I don't, I I don't think I have that much fun doing that as well, just because the uh like all the stuff that I do, it really lets my imagination like open and just wild and i can like take something and run with it like whether it's putting like stupid sound effects under a clip or yeah. like building to a certain tension and like i i kind of play like that too like if i like that's satisfying for me when i like think of something in my head is like oh that would be funny so i purposely try and set it up while i'm actually like in the game right and so because i already have that thought and then I'll just, like, going back into that edit and making it happen is, like, that's very satisfying to me. You know what's crazy? It's Seeing wild it because, like, it just shows how different, like, creativity works in different brains. Because, oh, yeah, like, it's wild. I'm the exact opposite because you said, like, your creative flow and, like, you can start going crazy when you're in the editing. For yeah. me, I want to make my content as as it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
yeah, all yeah. that creative stuff. Like I want to do that while I'm like literally while the content is being exactly. made. You know, yeah, like, it's it's too. I don't want. I never want to have to. Re- I don't want to rely on editing the stuff in. I want to just do the stuff, and yeah. it's already and it's there. You know, because like that's just how my brain works when I'm making content. It's like yeah, no, it's like anytime we filmed in person too, I'm like, yo, just run it. Literally, just like yeah, literally just run it, and I'm just gonna fill the space with as like because I want to just that's my thing. Just make the fucking content because yeah. that's like, I feel like for me that's just how I get shit done the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not not relying on having to input the other stuff, but it's like it's so dope that for you, it's like you can't wait to get to the part where you add stuff into. Yeah, you know yeah, exactly. Like, like, like filling it, those pockets. Yeah. I want yeah. those pockets filled before Already I'm even yeah, importing no. it. Yeah. You fill those and like that's so fucking cool if yeah. there's two different styles. Yeah, no, and and it's all under uh the same umbrella too, like yeah. like it's it's all gaming related, but our styles are completely different. It's crazy. And it's crazy. And like I can't edit the way I edit to your videos because it wouldn't work. Yeah, and absolutely you can't not. do it with like the style that I want because it's because of how it's it, being made. It's exactly, fucking crazy, exactly. right? It's yeah, so it's, nuts. Yeah. It's so nuts. Yeah, and like that shit I, does I also mind. love seeing like everyone's like unique style and shit. And like, oh yeah, it's it's dope. It's dope I'm, how I'm, you can make one thing seem completely different and like like take take gaming. There's so many ways to portray gaming. Not even gaming, just one game. Take one yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, game one and think game. about all the yeah. different shit people fucking do in that it's game crazy. on YouTube, Twitch, it's whatever. And I mean, it goes to show because, like, how many, like, there's, I can't even tell you how many people stream on Twitch, on Mixer, on D, on all these, like, other, uh, like, streaming platforms. Like, it's crazy how many people do this. And yet everyone is completely different. So at the different, same time. man. It's, it's so fucking unique. wild. It's wild to think about, yeah. It's that's and I think you know that that kind of just seeps into because just because we were talking about music that seeps into music videos for me like I just love how fucking different every single fucking music video is yeah. for ev- how different every song is and it's like dude that's just I think just in any art like just yeah. the fact that you could portray like let's just say driving a nice car how many fucking different ways do yeah. all these rappers talk about like and there's so many different bars so many different analogies mm-hmm. so many different metaphors so many different beats, ways of bro, saying like too. dude it's fucking yeah fucking like, beats bro how many yeah. fucking times you hear a beat and you're like holy shit i never heard something like that before yeah like i can i can add like a high speed chase vibe to it or i can add like a fucking windows down fucking top down kind of vibe you know like we're chilling and, and it completely changes how you feel yeah it could be the same you could be looking at the same fucking thing yeah. But you just change, you tweak one little thing, and it just completely it's fucking shit. Completely shit. different mind, yeah, vibe, you know. Bro, I fucking that shit blows my fucking mind. It's man. wild. It is crazy. I think that was another little rabbit hole that we just went down, but love a good rabbit my, hole, dude. Man. My brain is a fucking open book lately, man. I'm just fucking taking everything in. Everything. You should, bro. You should. It's. It, I mean, I. It's. It's. I wish I could find something as cool as Japanese hip hop to. <laughs> my time because like dude i'm like, telling you man we fucking have to because here's we the fucking... thing here's the thing if you if you didn't do that i don't think i'd ever be introduced exposed to that shit, you no never one... would have heard those songs yeah. that i sent you yeah ever ever, ever. I'd go and they're hard as life. fuck they're hard yeah. as fuck i'd get I'd, i would go my entire life not hearing those songs and like and uh, they're how ice I told cold you, i found like uh, a uk rapper that has like this like late night vibe to him and oh I, yeah I, man I, I when I first listened to, or found him, I was listening to his shit all week, literally. Bro, and, I, I've had that one Japanese rapper on all mm-hmm. di- discovered the, yeah. went down this rabbit hole last night. All I've been listening to is him. And I don't know how I found this guy because he is kind of small too. I I I don't know how I found him, but I'm glad I did because if I didn't, I probably would have never come across his music. You know what's crazy? It's like and just it's, by and you it's some listening. of my favorite, and it's some of my favorite too. You know, it's crazy. That's what I'm saying, man. And what else is nuts is that, like, now that, you know, I sent you those fucking, again, you don't understand a word in them, rant, like, completely across the world, like, how did it even get on your radar music, right? But now you listen to those, you fuck with them, so now, who knows, like, now, down the line, you might be much more open to listening to something that, again, wouldn't necessarily be on your radar, and you end up fucking with it. It's like, it's just these little, like incremental experiences that can just open you up to so much other shit that's and it's like you don't even realize it like i just sent you three japanese songs now who knows in like fucking six months you might see a random japanese rapper be like oh wait 
I got sent one a little while ago. Let me listen to this one. And he fucking goes hard as shit. And you're like, you use it on some video or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you never fucking know. So that's it's, why I just be open to this those, shit. Um, it's all about, like, the shared experiences, you know? Like, that too. I, th- I, 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 I like to think of our shared experiences as a, as a collab sort of sorts. Perhaps in a station. Episode Perhaps there's some collaborating. collaborating. Perhaps there's some collaborating going on in on the station b. on track b in the station all right are we on track b no we're fucking no this this was an a track episode this a track going weast yeah. are you closing us out are going you closing least. us out right now <laughs> i no, mean we still got we got a little bit of time left we got a little okay. bit of time left should we do the should we do the ad read real quick should we do our sponsor read <laughs> Sponsored by absolutely fucking nobody. Let's go, baby. Let's this go. This episode is sponsored by absolutely fucking no one. We get to one. do whatever the fuck we want, baby. And by whatever the fuck we want, I mean talk about what did let's we should recap it. Let's let's run it back. Run, run Ooh, it back. We talked about recap. GTA streams, Japanese yes, hip hop. What yes, else? Sir. Rabbit holes. That's it, right? Then we fucking spent an it. hour on GTA and Japanese hip hop. But hey, man. You got it. Sometimes when you go down a rabbit hole that deep, you got to spend the time doing it, you know? I know. Wait, didn't you say you just did a fucking, uh, hold on. This is actually something I want to talk to you about before we close it out. Because a big thing on Twitch recently has been like DJs performing their sets on Twitch. Oh, bringing it back to music. Okay. Yeah. Bringing it back to music. Yeah. I feel like this was a very music focused episode. No, no skirt needed because that's the, that's the whole topic of this episode. No, put the skirt down. Just music. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 uh, oh, I'm, oh. I'm retracting my skirt. Um, no, so, but yeah. yeah. I mean, speaking of music, they've been huge. Yeah, speaking been, of music, um, DJ sets have been cr- yeah. cranking on Twitch lately. Yeah, I mean, as I said in like earlier in the episode, like everyone's just pumping out music. And, and didn't you say that you did a little? Uh, you attended a little? Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, virtual. I mean, listen, listen. Ev- everyone's everyone's popping out some new music. Music. I mean. Honestly, if it wasn't for music, I don't know what I'd be doing right now because it's just such a good, like... Sometimes you just gotta sit back and pop the headphones on, bass boost on, and just enjoy it, you know? And It's uh, really that simple. And, well, especially now in these times where, like, everything like everything was cancelled, like, there's not gonna be another festival for a hot minute. However, there's been an incredibly large amount of online festivals, which is six. So I, I do want to give a shout out to everyone who puts those together. Uh, yeah, right. I, I didn't know, even think about the back end, dude, because the I mean, DJ's putting in work and then you got the fucking people putting on the fucking stream and shit. Yeah, so, and you have to, like, talk with the artists to make sure they're set on their end because they're all doing it from their homes and shit, so. Oh my goodness, so yeah, I didn't even think big, of that. Big shout out to the two other people making these festivals, online festivals happen. There, I swear to God, there's like three every single, there's been three, like, every single weekend for the past two months now. Have you it's been putting crazy. them on, on like your other monitor yeah. while you're editing and stuff? So like, oh yeah, 100%. So like, shout out to them. Shout out to the artists for for making their hour-long sets and just, you know, sharing their, their, their music with us. Shout out to them for, um, you know, continuing to make music, <laughs> continuing to do what they do inside comfort of their own homes. You know, giving us luckily some, very some luckily vibe. it's awesome it's oh, yeah. fucking awesome that oh, we live yeah. in a time that this shit can happen man. oh yeah 100 percent. but yeah like right before we, we we jumped on the pod i uh i attended a uh a digital a digital rave uh to support virtual rave boys. or digital what's the difference Ooh. well this one was called virtual playground which was did you plug sick. into the matrix before you went in oh i was i was already <laughs> i was dialed in i was dialed in i was ready to go <laughs> Yep, yep, I was ready to go, but yeah, I mean, I uh, I attended I attended a, a festival called uh, Virtual Playground. It's it's going on tomorrow as well. That's a cool name. Um, not yeah, tomorrow because this comes name. out on Wednesday. Sick this comes name. out on Wednesday, so it won't be on Thursday. Yeah. This is Sunday. He's yeah, talking about. Yeah, but a uh, sick name, and yeah, I, I attended that festival. Shout out to my boy Facade. Oh, okay. Uh, Giving a little shout out to the homies. Yeah, I uh, I, I attended his set. Kids fucking, fire? Ta- kids fucking talented. Fire? Kids got some nice. heat. He 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 knows how to make some some fire, you know. And I love fire. I, music, I love bro. his sound. I, I I um I'm I'm a true fan of his sound, which is dope. And, oh yeah. And his set was he fucking killed it. 
the shit. He, he fucking. I was literally there for the entire hour. I, I was. I had. I was gonna edit some stuff, but I literally just. I just I, tuned I, in. I, yeah, I was too distracted by how how just vibing in your chair like. Nice. Yeah, I was just like, oh, I can't, cheap, I can't work bro. with this. I can't work with it's this. Like, I can't work. I man. My headphones, this, my headphones are too hot right now. I can't work. I gotta I enjoy this, it. baby. I gotta enjoy it while I. Well, I got it in front of me, you know. So, yeah, just shout out to everyone putting up putting these festivals together because I know it's. I, I don't even want to imagine how much work, and I can't speak for all of them, but uh, Virtual Playground was uh, nicely donating all their stuff for COVID relief, and I know that's like a huge theme on like all these festivals, which is sick. Um, shout out charity stuff, man. Good music for a good cause. I'm gonna leave it that. Bro, good that's good dude. Cause. Good music for a good cause. That's a fucking heater right there. Yo, uh, I love it. Hire yeah, me to copyright. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, can you copyright? Can you I'm... please stop putting up the fucking hand signal? I saw it. I saw it peek on the bottom of your fucking camera. <laughs> there it is again. <laughs> I want. I, we need a counter, bro. By the time we get to episode 100 of this, I want a full counter. Or just anybody listening, just. As we go along, just keep the counter running in the comments. There's not going to be enough room to put all the fucking numbers on the screen, dude. Either that or... The comment or, section on YouTube runs out, yeah. Either that or the or like the actual number is going to be too small on the fucking thing to read because... You can't even read it anymore. All that space for the, to put all the numbers there, so... Hey, man, a month. A month of podcasting, dude. It's been fucking... It's been a really, really fun time. Yeah, I'm, I'm, ha- I'm honestly having a blast. Again, with the reception we've been getting from, uh, from the people yeah. has been overwhelmingly positive i'm gonna say oh, so yeah. thank you very much for that i do fucking appreciate it for catch sure. our streams man me and tyler have been crushing the streams yes, i'm still sir. streaming twitch.tv slash i am flashy that's obviously going to be in the description uh it's sir. not twitch.tv slash handsome visuals right now but i'll, I'll yes, be sure correct, to put the uh correct. the misa hansen deluxe package down there in the uh the description for the yeah. links Twitch.tv slash Mr. Hanson. You can catch me gaming. That's still no, nobody knows how to fucking spell it. But other than that, Wednesday, 6 a.m. <laughs> we'll be back with episode five. We got something special oh, cooking up. I'll let them figure it out. Fuck it. We got, yeah, honestly, I'm not even going to put your You'll fucking link me. down You'll, there. I'll let, like, don't. if, like I said, they got to decipher the code at the beginning when you just fucking link yourself. But we got something special cooking up for Collaboration Station. Listeners, don't spoil it. We're not going to spoil it. We're not going to tell anybody. But something coming up on a nearby episode. I don't know. They're not. I'm. I'm not ready for it. I was I'm, say, not, I'm not. Definitely ready. Not ready I'm definitely not ready for it. That shit is gonna be so That's fucking be funny. Fun. Hey, it is gonna be fun. It might. It's gonna have to be longer than an hour. There's no way we're only oh, gonna yeah, be able yeah. to talk we're, for an hour. Listen, listen. That is just gonna be. We're gonna fucking record and yeah. We're just, just gonna go. fucking yeah. We're just gonna go. Just go. That shit is gonna be good. Go. But super excited about that. We'll see y'all next Wednesday at 6 a.m. Eastern for the next episode of Collaboration Station. I was your host. I am Flashy with my co-host, the one and only Handsome Visuals. Take us out, man. Take us out. I had a blast. I hope you did too. (laughs) Catch you on the next one. Peace.